What's going on everybody? Dangerous Thing here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Boom Beach where I just want to talk to you guys about perfect bases. Now, I don't think there is such thing as a perfect base. Um, maybe there is such thing as a good base and a bad base, but I don't think any bases can be perfect because no matter how you lay it out, no matter what you think in the back of your head is going to work out and not, you know, someone is going to come in, they're going to evaluate your base, they're going to outsmart you and, um, you know, try to bring your base down. So today I wanted to show you some of the attacks that took place on my account in a few couple of hours, I guess. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about what bases I found to be, I guess, least uh, sophisticated, I should say. And I don't know if I have room to talk because I myself get rated all the time, but I just want to go over the layout of this base. It is, you know, a kind of very weird to me that all of the defenses are clunked up so close to each other. The player is only level 42 and 349 VP, so I don't know if he's trying to drop medals or whatnot, but I don't really quite understand why you would clunk so many defenses so close to each other because just one artillery shot and a barrage can take out so many of the defenses all at once without all too much effort. And so I am going to go ahead and grade these bases today based on the layout and I'm going to give this one a C- because the way everything is placed is just not making much sense to me. I am not a very high level player and it was very easy for me to bring down the base. So sorry, but this base is going to be rated S or rated as C-. All the defenses are way too close to each other and make very little sense. I was able to rate it with just seven casualties and yeah. Yeah, basically that makes your base, uh, I guess, not so great. Um, very much imperfect and I would not call it good. I would call it bad. So C- minus goes to your player. Now let's take a look at Fabrizio. Fabrizio is level 45 and 351 medals. I'm going to try and take down his base um, and I'll do what I do at all times. I'll take out the rocket launcher first. And actually what I've been thinking about lately is the trajectory of the barrage whenever you throw it. The trajectory is always different to me depending on where you um, aim, not where you aim, but basically where you tap on the um, attack, right? So sometimes there is a slightly different angle and I've been trying to figure it out so that I can spend fewer artillery shots and I can take out as much stuff as possible with a barrage. But look at this base. Once again, defenses are very close to each other. I took out, you know, some of the major defenses with a few artillery shots and barrages. And look at that. Uh, right now we have nothing in our way as long as we take out the first two levels, of, uh, um, first two layers of defenses, I will be all set and ready to go. So I'm just going to shock it and uh, keep going through the base, get into the uh, HQ. Now the shock blaster is sitting there nice and pretty, but I'm gonna throw some critters which are gonna distract shock blaster. I'm gonna redirect my troops and I will be able to get the shock blaster down in absolutely no time. And even though I'm gonna suffer some damage, from the machine gun spraying from the left hand side and there is of course the flamethrower spraying uh, fire on my troops. I'm still going to be able to take it down. I'm absolutely confident with that. So let's take a look at how the base is going to go down. So once again, major tactical um, mistakes that I've made but yet still look at that. The HQ's health is dropping and I am bringing the victory home. Fabrizio, once again, your base didn't make it to the good one, um, didn't make it on a good list. Definitely a not so great, I wouldn't say bad because I think I walked out with quite a few more casualties, so 13 Zookas and 9 Heavies lost in this one. So better than the first one that I reviewed, but uh, nonetheless I'm gonna give you a C because once again too many defenses are clunked up too close together and that makes the base extremely vulnerable. So um, I have obviously been looking into upgrading my landing craft, you guys, and um, you know I, I really want to, uh, but it looks like I'm actually running out of storage for iron, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and upgrade one of my iron storages because otherwise, whatever I'm raiding, I will have absolutely no room to pack that away, and I don't wanna waste that. Every single resource counts when it comes to it in Boom Beach, so let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, actually, uh, and now the OP is going down. I'm going to scroll through it really quickly, but let's not concentrate on it too much. Okay, and now let's look at a few of the 
uh, replays. I unfortunately wasn't able to record them live because I was too impatient and I did not want to wait until I was going to get in front of my computer. But this base here is getting a C as well. Look at that. Everything is so close together around the HQ, you know, corner base by the um, by the right shore of the base, and I am going to be able to get through it with no problem at all. And surely there is a uh, a laser prototype, but that doesn't do much to me because the, the the damage is just so low. I believe when I unboost it, it's only 35 splash damage per second. So C C C, you get a C, uh, ma'am. I guess is how you pronounce your name. Um, yeah, it makes no sense why you would put so many defenses clunked so close together because I'm gonna be able or anyone will be able to take it down with just a few barrages. And now let's go ahead and see how I'm gonna rate this resource base. This one is getting a flat out D. Look at that, all of the defenses are really high level. I mean, those boom cannons are probably at least uh, level 10. They're absolutely massive, but the way everything is situated, look at that. I was able to bring down three of the defenses with just one shock, and then my troops were just blazing through the base and taking down the HQ of the resource base. So I am always super careful with my uh, resource bases because, like I said, resources are precious. So I put a little bit extra effort in figuring out the layout of the resource base. Now let's take a look at this base here. Obviously, you're looking at it and saying, "Duh, dangerous thing! What is he doing, putting so many defenses around the damage amplifier?" Damage amplifier is not my favorite. I feel that it's kind of useless because just like you're seeing here, you have to put all the defenses really close to each other in order to get maximum advantage of the damage amplifier. But on the other hand, while you're getting the advantage of amplifying the damage, you're also getting the disadvantage of you know everything being too close to each other and making your base very much vulnerable to just getting it shocked with one shock and being able to get wiped out. So this base is getting a flat out D. I would never do that. Uh, you know, if I was using a damage amplifier, I would put it somewhere where it makes sense for a couple of defenses, but never. I think you had like six defenses laid out right in front of the amplifier, which makes you really, really vulnerable. Now let's take a look at this replay here. This base looks, you know, very intimidating at first, but then you break it down and you realize that once again, things are clunked up so close that with just a few artillery shots and, um, and barrages, you were able to take out some of the major defenses. Look at that, we took out shock launcher, we took out boom cannon, and with just one, um, two shock, blasts i'm gonna call them shock blasts because i just feel like it we're able to redirect our troops to the right hand side of the base where there's nothing but one mortar that's currently hitting all of my troops up and so with absolutely minimal damages to my troops i was able to complete this operation so a few bases here today you guys some are d some are c levels or i guess grades i hope you enjoy this video and i'm gonna jump into the next one and do duck to terror until next time dangerous thing is out